The conference saw journalists from over 30 African countries gather in Accra to trade ideas on how best to make the profession more relevant. The Federation of African Journalists, which organized the event, says they considered Ghana as one of the safest countries in Africa to practice journalism, hence its decision to host the event here. President Kufado, who opened the conference, says government will do all it can to improve journalistic practice in Ghana. He says recent attacks on journalists in the line of duty must be condemned by all, adding that Ghana's democratic credentials do not support such acts. The decision to select Ghana as this year's host is because of, and I quote, the conducive environment for media practice generally, and particularly for impress her impressive ranking, second in Africa on the latest World Press Freedom Index, unquote. Our aim is to be number one on the continent, and we will work hard to ensure we attain this. A day like this, it is also important to consider some of the emerging challenges to media freedom. One of them is what constitutes an attack on media freedom. It cannot be right, no matter where in the world, the journalists are physically attacked or prevented from doing their work. Once that happens, it is an attack on media freedom and it must be roundly condemned by all. As George Orwell rightly puts it, and I quote, freedom of the press, if it means anything at all, means the freedom to criticize and oppose, unquote. Information Minister Kojo Opon Kroma charged journalists to weed out persons who use the profession to pursue personal interest. One of the biggest threats to journalism is the infiltration into the industry of persons who use journalism as a cover to practice all sorts of unethical, unacceptable acts that are known to our industry. It must be of interest to us and our leaders in the industry to constantly set the standard on what is ethical and acceptable and be quick to uphold same while calling out boldly without fear or favor that which is not journalism but masquerades as such. If not done by we the journalists ourselves and our unions, it sets the stage for others to take us on and by effect undermine what is true journalism. The African proverb is that one nut not taken out sars the taste of the entire nut gel. The president of the Federation of African Journalists, Salah Ahmed, says journalists in Africa should use their various platforms to channel out positive stories about the continent. When we speak about news excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, the mindset is always about bad news. It's about conflicts. It's about problems. It's about disputes. And without that, maybe the thinking is media will not be able to sell. But believe me, from the experience we have undertook in the African Union Commission, we have realized that our African people are also eager and hungry to receive good news about good stories that could also become examples to lead the way for the African people in their campaign to build the Africa that is united, prosperous, and peaceful.